Hey guys, it's me, Trixie, AKA The Thoughtful Beast, and I am a mental health advocate. I'm also a filmmaker and a dancer and a choreographer, and this is my personal vlog, so I'm a little more informal, even though I don't think that I'm very formal to begin with. <laughs> okay, I forgot there was no cut. <laughs> okay, anyways, so um, today I'm talking about whether or not I believe in New Year's resolutions. So it's January. Um, this is the end of the first week of January, I think. Um, it's weird, or it's it's been eight days. Sorry, that's what it's been. It's been eight days, uh, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, we're talking about New Year's resolutions and whether or not I believe in them. Uh, yes and no is my short answer. No in that I don't necessarily make it a habit to wait to start goals you know what I mean to think about my goals um, I don't wait like that like I'm like yeah I'm gonna start in the new year usually I just start when it feels appropriate which is usually pretty soon um, <laughs> um, I think sometimes New Year's resolutions like they they can be a good thing but the thing is that a lot of people ditch out on them because it turns into like an all or nothing kind of goal setting and I'm not down with that um, so, yes, in that I, I have set goals, <laughs> um, this new year, and I actually set them for the near year because I was, uh, at a, at a work, work meeting. We were just working together with, uh, my friend Adrian and my other friend Marissa. I don't know why I, like, said it in that way. That was really awkward. My friends, Adrian and Marissa, <laughs> who also do um, YouTube. They're great. So yeah, like because I had a meeting with them and that came up, I definitely set goals up for 2020. Um, yeah, and I plan to do them all and I think they can be really good. I think setting goals in the new year can be really good. I think when you do them, you just have to be smart about them which means like you know you can do like smart goals i came out with a that was my last youtube video um or you know you have to make sure you're setting up your goals and setting up yourself for success and you can't be way too hard on yourself and again i am not like you know like an all or nothing person because then for most people that just doesn't work out sorry um because that's like perfection you know, if you're like that all or nothing goal person, like cool, good for you. But for me, like that's way too perfectionist and unforgiving. Um, yeah, I think what I, I, I actually like to do in the new year, which can lead to goal setting, is that I've always self-reflected like on on the past year, but also how far I've come because I have come very far, uh, which feels weird and unreal, but you know, like, I say it all, my t all the time, like my 20s, God, that was such like a shit show, a beep show. <laughs> um, it was bad, it was bad. My mental health was really, really poor. Um, yeah, and so I'm in a much happier place now. I'm doing what I want. I'm working towards my goals constantly, which feels good. Uh, honestly, like sometimes it doesn't feel like enough and that's something I have to fight. Oh my gosh. So I'm like making this, um, this video about, uh, destination addiction. And I was just like, man, this is like me all the time. If you don't know what it is, there's a video coming out on it from me soon. So look out for that. Um, but yeah, I mostly like to self-reflect, um, and just like take it in and savor the fact that I'm still alive. And even if I'm not satisfied with, you know, the past year, maybe I wasn't completely satisfied with 2019, but there are definitely things um, I'm thankful for, you know, um, reconnecting more with Adrian, meeting Marissa, meeting other people. Um, so new friendships and stuff, new milestones, new clarity or more clarity in my own life. And am I still struggling with certain things? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, but I'm still grateful, and I think that's what I like to do. Yeah, so to summarize, goal setting can be really good. I'm not a New Year's fan just because some people get to like all or nothing about it. 
Uh, if you do have goals for the new year, I do wish you the best. Um, stay motivated whatever way you can. Don't be too hardcore parkour on yourself, you know. Um, don't. Just be forgiving. You know, if, if, if you have, like, a bad day, like, say it's, like, dieting and stuff and you have a cheat day and stuff, don't, don't quit on yourself. Just be like, okay, let's try again right and what can I change so that I'll be more successful the next time and that can mean being less intense that can mean having buddies right having buddies to help you reach your goal is really 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 helpful for anything um but yeah I wish you the best I wish you all the motivation know that I do believe in you know that I believe that you can create the life that you want and you can create your own happiness I think I said your own your own happiness I believe I can create my own happiness and you know I'm a mess <laughs> okay I'm a mess a little bit of a mess um but you know like a little bit like yeah if I can do it you can do it too and it's not because I'm special I just believe that the possibility is there um so yeah until next time make sure you are creating happiness in your life, whether that means you're going to be goal setting right now or whether that means you're going out clubbing. I don't know why my head turned to that. Bye. <laughs>